All right, so in this one, we're going to be using Django Sessions to handle our cart. Now, we saw in the last one, our views, we did cart.objects at all, and we got the first item in that set. We don't actually want to do that. We want to use Sessions to store the ID for whatever session you're in and that you're working with. Now, to understand Sessions, it's kind of like when you log in to, some, to a site, you create a new session. When you log out, it kind of ends that session. It deletes that session. Now you can use this same idea for when somebody visits the site, doesn't even log in, and then leaves the site. Again, doesn't even log in or log out. They just come and go. Um, so that allows us to kind of store variables in the session so we can use them and also in different views. So like in the view the cart, we can use some type of general session variable and update the cart we can also use some type of session variable now for us we want to know the cart id that we are going to be at working with so the instance of the id of the cart specifically for the one that that user is working with and we want this to be different every time a new user comes so the session django already creates a new session for each new user so it allows us to create new cart IDs or cart objects specifically for that session. So it's not gonna be directly to the user, but it's gonna be directly to the session that the user is using. Um, so it allows us to be a little bit smarter about how we update our cart. Because obviously this will not work, right? We can't, not everybody that comes to the site could be working off of the same instance of the cart. They have to have their own instance, they have to have their own, so we can kind of manipulate their own as we need. All right, so to do this, um, it's fairly straightforward to do. We just do request.session, and we set a name for the variable, or the key, essentially, for this session. So we could say request.session, and I want to do cart ID, and I'm going to set it equal to a cart ID, so a cart object ID. So in this case, I could set it equal to this cart.id. Um, I could do that, but there's a problem with this. And if I set it to this cart ID, it's going to be doing the exact same thing that this is doing. It's not really going to change a whole lot. So what I'll need to do is I'll actually have to see if there's already a session cart ID. And if there's not, we're going to need to create one. And that's really easy with the try uh, and exception block. So if we do try request dot session cart ID except we have to create the cart ID. So let's go back in, refresh. Ah, we got this unintended block. Oh, well, I have to actually put a value after accept so I can just do, I'll print something for now. All right, so now that we have this, we go back in, go into a product, go to add to cart. We see this key error. And that's what this try is allowing us to do. It's, it's seeing if there's a key error with this, which this is giving that key error cart ID that's where this is, so if I change it to cart ABC, S, or whatever, do a refresh in here, I'll say that key error. So with this try, what it's gonna do is it's gonna check to see if there's that cart ID. If there's not, we just should create it. That's essentially what we'll wanna do, and that's what we will do. So I'm gonna say cart the ID equals to request that session ID. So if that doesn't actually work, it's gonna go to the accept clause, and now we can create a brand new cart. So I'll say cart equals to, um, or let's say new cart, I should say, new cart equals to cart, and then new cart.save. All right, so all this did was create a brand new instance. And then we want to set the session of cart ID to this new cart's ID. So request.session cart ID equals to new cart dot ID. Now this is following the same format. So request the session should be the same exact thing as that. And now we can just say the ID equals to new cart dot ID. Um, you could also just say it's that no real reason to go too detailed, but those two things, it's basically saying all the same stuff. Uh, but we just definitely need to set the request session to be in cart ID. All right, so now I create a new cart, so I can actually get rid of this, or at least how it is currently, put it below here, and instead of all, I'll do get, and then I'll say ID equals to the ID, all right? Because we're setting it as the cart ID, and now it's gonna get that cart. It's gonna run through the same stuff, 
right? So this is just checking whether or not that cart actually exists and if it's in there. If it's not in there, it's gonna create it. If it exists, it's gonna grab that ID and then it's gonna use that cart, right? So that's perfect. That's exactly what we wanna do. Um, another thing that you could do is you could, in theory, grab this cart and put it here and then do another exception, except cart does not exist. And then you can create the object, create. And then you can set the session here to cart ID. And then you can keep going through with that. Um, but I'm gonna just do it this way. So basically go ahead and try and get the cart if it's there. Um, if it's or if the session ID for the card is actually there, then get it. If it's not, then we'll run through some other stuff. Uh, so let's actually delete. I'm going to undo all this stuff that we just talked about and move that card back down. Okay, perfect. So now that we have this, we can actually use this session ID in a different view. And where are we going to use it? We're going to use it in this one. We're going to use it a little bit differently. I only want to create a new cart in one spot, and that's going to be update cart in this case. Uh, there are other ways to add a new cart, but in this case, I just want to do it an update cart. So whenever I add a product, just actually make a cart then. Why make it other times? It would make more sense to make it for the first time when you first add your first product. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the same try. And then accept the ID equals to none. All right. So now I'm saying it's none. This is going to give me a nice if then statement that I can use to change the context for the view. So if we do if the ID, then we can set the cart. And again, it's going to be the same one as cart.get ID equals to the ID. And we probably want to have that context in there with that ID. Otherwise, we'll do context equals to empty is true. So if it's empty, we should have some message in here saying your card is empty. Whoops, equals true, not dash true. And then if it's not empty, it should show the actual card. So let's go ahead and go into the view. And above all this stuff, I'm going to say if empty else. So if it's not empty, show the card. If it is empty, show a message that we will write. We can actually write the message in our view and add it to our context. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we'll say message empty message equals to your cart is empty. Please keep shopping. All right. And then put it into our context. Empty message, empty message. Now in our view, do h1, empty message, Oop, use the curly brackets. And we might actually want to put this outside of everything, just so it's all in the center. And I could do a style of text align center. Okay, empty message. All right, invalid syntax. I got an invalid syntax on 20. So where are we here with that? Ah, this right here. It's gotta be a colon. All right, so now I have a cart. Cart's actually working. It's in there. So to delete the session, all I have to do is log in and then log out. So I log out. Now if I go to cart, it says my cart is empty. Please keep shopping. Um, so if I go back home, go to a product, add a cart, now I have my cart, it's showing up. Uh, this actually doesn't show, the cart ID exists, but it's not actually empty, so we'll have to fix that later. Uh, the cart is actually empty, so it probably should say that it's empty, but again, we'll fix that later. T, now I can add stuff, and that's all working just fine as we need and as we expected. All right, so now... Notice that when I logged out, it deleted the cart. So that's a, that's actually ending the session for the cart. So we can set our own ending when we update the cart. So if they ever update the cart, we can do request.session.set expiry and the number of seconds we want for it to expire. So 300 would be 
five minutes, 300 seconds. So if we did three seconds, let's just see what this does. So I have to actually activate this by adding something to the cart because that's where we put it, right? So if I put this on the view cart, then it would be three seconds from viewing the cart. But if I add something to the cart, it's gonna be three seconds after that, it's gonna actually remove this cart. So one, two, three, I do a refresh, my cart is empty. So that's what that will do. And it also logs me out. So if I was logged in, it would log me out. Um, and you can do however many seconds you want on here. So again, it's seconds. So to calculate weeks, months, years, whatever, you could just do the number of seconds in those times. So I'm gonna set the expiration to something really big. And then if you wanna know other expiration stuff, uh, you can just go into the documentation for set expiry and see the different values you can put there. All right, so that's sessions. That's adding, that's using sessions to handle our cart ID and our cart. The nice thing is, is we can use these sessions all over again. And maybe we'd want to, and that would be down here. So let's do request.session, and we'll say uh, cart items total or items total equals to cart.products.all.count. So this should give us all of, or actually we could probably just do products.count. That should give us that. So let's actually print that out when we add it. Just try something real quick. Add a cart, and it says one t shirt, add a cart, and it says two. So, what this will allow us to do is actually add like a button somewhere that has a number of items in our cart. And that is how we used request sessions or sessions in Django. And again, they will delete after someone logs out or if this time runs out. So actually with the amount of time here, if you had weeks here, they could literally add stuff to a cart and then come back weeks later and you'll still see it. And that'd be true if they're logged in, um, it, it could last that long too. But after this is in, it will log them out and it will delete the session that is associated to all this stuff. So that means all the cart and all that stuff will no longer be active. You won't be able to grab it. Uh, I should say the cart will actually be active when it comes to the model itself, it'll be active, but when it comes to being able to access it, it will not be. So we can see uh, by just logging into our admin that if we go into our carts, these will stay active regardless of if the session is inactive. We actually will delete this active part when we finish checking out and doing all that. So, all right, so let me know if you have any other questions on this. Um, it, it's very useful, sessions are very useful. now. You wouldn't store sensitive data in sessions, like cart ID is not sensitive at all. You wouldn't put someone's credit card information in sessions, that would be crazy. You probably wouldn't even put their user ID in sessions. There's really no reason for you to do that because you can grab it with request.user.id. Um, you, you can grab it that way. So sessions, there's certain rules that you probably wanna follow and when it comes to that, just go to the documentation to see how you wanna use sessions. Um, I would say use it limitedly and just kind of keep in mind that it whatever you're adding to sessions, uh, it's not super secure as far as sessions go. Um, they are pretty secure, but it's not like you'd want to have sensitive data in them. And also you want to be limited as to how much stuff you actually want to put in the session because the performance might become an issue if you put too much stuff in the session, um, just to keep that in mind. All right, so let me know if you have any questions and we will see you in the next